The chef behind a first-of-its-kind hungi eatery in Taranaki says she wants to help bring Māori kai into the culinary mainstream while giving something back to the community that raised her. An executive chef in her own right, Renee Wetere, says for her, hungi is more than just food, it's an expression of love. Our Taranaki Whanganui reporter Robin Martin has more. There were queues out the door when the earth oven hungi roast house opened in Waitara at the weekend as hungry customers waited eagerly to get their hands on that precious commodity that is hungi. For Rene Wetere, who has run some of the largest hotel kitchens in New Plymouth, it was the fulfilment of a long-held dream. You know, you go on your journey as an adult and as a young adult, but you always should come home. And you're coming home for a reason, and that's to give back. And, and when I say to give back, it's giving back the knowledge. Um, it's giving back an experience that you have offered to everybody else. Um, and for me, it's, before it's a business, we have created a whare. The 32-year-old is giving Hungi a fresh twist, but without deviating too far from the tried and true. We're still using that chef touch by adding in your fresh herbs uh, in terms of seasoning. You know, little, little hinted flavours like fresh dill and um, fresh rosemary, fresh thyme. And, and, you know, I can't be stubborn to say, oh, this is strictly just Māori cuisine, uh, because it's not. The eatery uses kohatu hangi cookers developed by Ms. Wetere's stepfather, Hone Stevens. He says the heated volcanic rocks enable the cookers to create the unique hangi flavour in just two hours. The fat and the juices from the meat as it's cooking drips down and hits the rocks. It turns into two things, so it turns into steam, but more importantly you create a smoke. And that smoke goes through the entire kai and it infuses it with a flavour. That's the hangi flavour. Out front, that flavour had punters salivating in anticipation. Aroa Kingi travelled across from Inglewood to pick up some kai. So we've got four, three kangi meal, a uh, hangi meal, sorry, um, and the kids roasts. Yeah, just and pudding. Can't forget the pudding. And and what's it going? Well, how's it going in there? Oh, it's it's, it's packed. <laughs> We're a squash, so it was yeah, real packed. Eve Haitana had been waiting for the shop to open. I thought, hangi, yay, let's go and have a hangi, so that's what we're having for tea tonight. Is it quite special to be able to get hangi like this? Very special, especially when you can just like drive downtown and there's a hangi shop there and it's like, wow, because it's quite popular, you very, really get it. It was a welcome alternative to fish and chips for Daffy Sunil. Uh, we just live up the road, so it's like, it's, yeah, the hangi's wicked, so you might as well come down and try it. And how was it looking as you went past the counter there? Oh, wicked. Yeah, wicked. Smells good. Just getting hungrier and hungrier. Tell me, what's so, what's so, what's so special about honey? I think the flavour. Yeah, the flavour is wicked. While for Charlie Smith, hangi brought back happy memories. Hangi. Got to have hangi. How cool is it having hangi shop in town? Awesome. Because the only other time you get it is at a funeral. And or what's, Christmas. And what's, what's so special about hangi for you? Oh, like I said, it tastes like childhood. Yeah, having it as my upbringing. And for Rene Wetere, the significance of hangi goes beyond the kai. Cooking is, is an expression of love. And um, I was asked this question the other day of what does hangi mean to me? And it, it, for me, it's um, a sense of togetherness. Um, it's the only, you know, it's a time of the day where everyone gets together and actually can enjoy a beautiful kai. Um, and it's about creating memories, is my philosophy behind food in general. Earth Oven Hangi Roast House and its catering offshoot have created about 10 jobs so far, and Miss Wetheri soon wants to be able to offer healthy eating workshops at the venture. Itaranaki Motihotaka o te Ahipone, ko Robin Martinahou.